Hi, hello, good morning, everyone. Now, as I told, after completion of the first chapter from Jakarta part, resource and development. Uh, now, I would like to assign some of the questions uh, you need to solve along with solving exercise activity questions. So these are not uh, in exercise part. So these are the questions. Uh, made or uh, framed within the lesson or within the concept uh, which makes you to understand a concept uh, perfectly as well as clearly so first question is what are resources so resources are the things materials which are mainly found in our surroundings or environment which satisfy our needs they are resources or you can write as it is given in textbook everything available in our environment which can be used to satisfy our needs they are resources question number two how human beings are essential component component of resources how human beings are essential components of resources human beings are uh, most importantly essential components for making use of resources because human beings they themselves are the uh, resources who takes active part in modifying or converting the resources as per their uh, needs or preference. That's why whatever the things which we take as a resource from the nature or from the environment, behind that there will be the involvement of human being or man through the technology. That's why human being is essential component. Then question number three. Classify the resources based on. Here three sub parts are given. Namely origin. So on the basis of origin resources are categorized into two. Namely A and B. Biotic and abiotic. Biotic resources and abiotic resources. These are the two type of resources categorized on the base of origin. Then adjustability. So on the base of adjustability, resources are categorized into two, namely R and NR. Renewable resources and non-renewable resources. So based on the status of development, resources are categorized into four, namely P D S R P D S R potential resources, developed resources, stock and reserves. Then what are potential resources? That is question number four. So the resources in a region are being found, or the availability of resources in a region is known, but they are not used they are potential resources are in uh, simplest uh, we can uh, quote a uh, definition for potential resource as unused resource in a reason they are potential resources unused unused in the sense their availability is well known but they are not used they are potential resources then what are stocks? S T O C K S. S T O C K S, not S T A. S T O. What are stock? The resources are the materials in the environment which are uh, having potentiality to satisfy the needs of human being, but due to lack of technology they are not used or they will be not used 
and the availability of resources goes on increasing so the increased amount of resources in a region they are stocks so their quantity goes on increasing when they are not used why they are not going to be used because of lack of technology then question number 6 list the problems created by man due to indiscriminate use of resources so we already came to know that resources are the free gifts of nature resources are free gifts of nature and these resources which we find in our nature need to be used in proper manner proper manner here question is indiscriminate use indiscriminate means without a proper plan or uh, without uh, knowing the importance of resources exploiting or overusing so it creates some of the problems so what were the problems they are going to be created so problem number one indiscriminate use of resources creates depletion of resources depletion depletion in the sense the availability of resources goes on end then uh, use of resources or accumulation of resources in few hands or only by few people or few persons it makes uh, the categorization or classification of the people into two categories namely haves and have nots rich and poor then overuse indiscriminate use exploitation of resources creates rises global level ecological or environmental hazards like like global warming ozone layer depletion then uh, environmental pollutions like land land pollution water pollution air pollution noise pollution and so on so kind of pollutions it is going to be created then there will be chance of uh, greenhouse effect acid rain and others so these are the possible problems may be created when man or we go on using resources in discriminated manner then question number seven what was the principal aim of 1992's 1992's rio de janeiro's or world health summit sorry world earth summit which was held at rio de janeiro brazil principal aim or main objective so the principal aim of world earth summit held at rio de janeiro brazil all the nations accepted and agreed to witness in solving environmental problems in protecting socio-economic development at global level and along with that achieving sustainable development achieving sustainable development so two important uh, principles or objectives mainly accepted number one solving environmental problems or environmental protection and socio-economic development at global level second one achieving sustainable development with uh, protecting or controlling environmental damage poverty diseases through global cooperation and common interest of different nations 
then question number eight what is resource planning explain about the process involved in resource planning so resource planning is a complex process complex process or it is the process which makes or which uh, explains about judicious use of resources judicious well planned use of resources knowing about the importance of resources so any resource which we use without a plan the resource is not going to be utilized or used so resource planning in india it is mainly followed or adopted through the important process or stages namely stage number one or first stage it is identification of the resource identification of the resources resources are going to be identified through the survey mapping and qualitative and quanti quantitative estimation second stage it is evolving or adopting planned structure planned structure with appropriate technology skill and institutional setup then third one matching the resources matching the resources so resource planning is the process which makes judicious planned use of resource then the resource planning process in india it is mainly a complex process which involves three different uh, stages or three different process number one identification number two evolving number three matching question number nine question number nine what is meant by grass cropped area grass cropped area or net sown area what is meant by grass cropped area or net sown area i repeat area sown or area cultivated more than once in an agriculture year plus or along with that net sown area is known as grass cropped area what to iluvare bhoomi what to iluvare bhoomi so i repeat area cultivated more than once in an agriculture year and net sown area is known as grass cropped area sarasari varshika krishi varshadalli krishi karya chatuvatikeyanna kaigondanta bhoomi mattu ottu iluvari madlikke balisidantaha bhoomi idanna ಒಟ್ಟು ಇಳುವರಿ ಭೂಮಿ ಅಥವಾ ಗ್ರಾಸ್ ಕ್ರಾಪ್ಡ್ ಏರಿಯಾ ದೆನ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಟೆನ್ ವಾಟ್ ವೇರ್ ದ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ರೆಸ್ಪಾನ್ಸಿಬಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ಡಿಟರ್ಮೈನಿಂಗ್ ಲ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಪ್ಯಾಟರ್ನ್ ಇನ್ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ಸೊ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಸೀಮ್ಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಲೆಂದಿ ಬಟ್ ದ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ವೆರಿ ಸಿಂಪಲ್ ವೆನ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ದ ಕ್ವಶನ್ what were the important factors responsible for determining land use pattern in india bharatadalli bhoomiya balakige athava bhoo balakiyanna nirdhara maartakkantaha amshagalu yavu yavu so namely physical factors such as topography climate soil and soil types human factors like population density of population then uh, technological capacity culture 
and the tradition of the people that is two factors namely physical factors and human factors so physical factors include topography climate soil type whereas human factors include population population distribution population density technological capacity of the people culture and tradition of the people so remaining questions we will discuss tomorrow